Hey, what's up everyone? Thank you again for stopping by on this lesson. It's kind of a short one where we are going to visually explore the concepts and procedures behind graphing a linear function. Now, the first thing that we want to do is apply our understanding that f of x equals and y equals are the same thing. They both represent the output of the function. So we're actually going to rewrite this function in terms of y equals. It makes it a little bit easier to work with. <laughs> And now we should see that this y equals equation is in mx plus b form, that slope-intercept form. And when it's in this form, it's actually pretty easy to graph. So we can see that our slope is going to be that negative 3 over 4. Okay, and when we have a negative slope, we know that our line is going to be descending from left to right. So we should have somewhat of an idea of what our line is going to look like when we do graph it. And the next thing that we see is that our y-intercept, that b value, is at positive 2. So we know that the graph is going to hit that y-axis at positive 2. So the first step to graphing a linear function in slope-intercept form is to plot that y-intercept. In this case, I'm putting a point at positive 2 on the y-axis. And now we're ready to build that line from that point. Now that slope of negative 3 over 4, I'm going to take the negative sign and push it up to the value in the numerator. Okay, so I put it with the 3 to make it a negative 3. And if we think of slope in terms of rise over run, as in change in y over change in x, so when our rise is negative 3, think of that as rising down. We're going down 3 units on the y-axis. And then our run, our change in x is a positive 4. So we move to the right 4 units, and then we plot a new point. And we can continue to build off of each point, in this case our new point, by repeating that slope. Again, we rise down three units, and then run to the right four, and again we plot another point. And if we are applying the slope correctly, we should see that we're building a pretty consistent staircase here. And if we want to plot some points on the other side, on the left side of that y-intercept at two, we just repeat this process in reverse, in this case going to the left four units, and then up three and plotting another point, and we should still see that our points are all aligned, which means that we can construct a line that passes through all the points, and now we have successfully graphed our linear function y equals negative three over four x plus two. And just to reiterate, again, the graph that we just constructed is the same thing as the function f of x equals negative three over four x plus 2. So remember that y equals and f of x equals mean the same thing. And that's all there is to it when it comes to graphing a linear function. And we'll catch you guys next time. <laughs> cool. All right, so that's it for that lesson. Hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please click that link below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We add new lessons every week. We don't want you to miss out. And also, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to comment down in the comment section below. We respond to every single comment. I promise you will respond, even the mean ones. Okay, but let's just try to keep it nice. Those ones are always a lot more fun to read. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. See ya.